by the way, this webinar is all about uh, four steps to become an embedded systems engineer. It's basically a career guide. And uh, I tried my best to to put together all my almost like eight, nine years of experience. Now, in this whole webinar, we will be focusing on the, the outline basically is to find a mentor, how you find a mentor nearby because wherever you are and whatever circumstances you are, we are always in a difficult or different part of the life and career. Some of them are like the university graduates, so maybe their mentor could be their smarter friend, right? Some of them may be working in a company where their immediate supervisor or somebody could be the mentor, right? Some of them have a relative, some of them has maybe the coach, consultant or somebody like me could help. So first thing is find a mentor. Then I would probably talk a little bit about invest in education, why it's very important to invest because I would give you my thought embedded systems is really not the way the other fields are. It's not something, you know, you have a computer and then you install a piece of software, free piece of software, and then you go on, right? You need to buy some 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 development boards and kits and all where you write the code and, you know, test some electronics. It's basically the hardware and software. So you, you really need to invest in a right direction and in a right way. We will also speak about how to define your career goal it's very important i seen some people when i when i attain them as my consulting or coaching clients uh, they are really not sure when i ask them what what they want to do with embedded system they just say that they want a high paid job of course you need a high paid job but you have to see exactly you know where you want to see two three four years down the line some of them really end up getting into you know pcb design and something very much of the hardware focus and then they complain why the embedded software people get more paid than embedded hardware so you have to know that your expectation from the embedded system and your career really matches to what you are expecting out of your professional journey right so this is very important because you should not you know walk the thousand miles and then you think okay i'm in the wrong directions or maybe i need to readjust myself okay it's not impossible there's always possibility but then it makes it difficult for you then the most important part when you are preparing for your career and looking for job how you're going to work with recruiters because many developers i have seen or many students graduates or whoever try to shift a career a little bit or i could probably use pivoting the career they feel working with recruiters is really frustrating for them they say like why would i have to you know talk to these people they are non-technical people and all the jargon right and i really agree because i was there <laughs> i one point in time <clears throat> i was also you know talking to recruiters but i think there were a serious problem with my thought process and mindset at the time and that i wanted to talk to you how you're going to succeed and how best you can communicate and you know work with recruiters still you succeed to to find uh, right opportunity and this doesn't mean you go to online on linkedin and just write the random messages right it just doesn't work we will also speak uh, or spend some time in um, talking about a LinkedIn strategy, YouTube and GitHub. These are all the social platform. I don't know whether to say social platforms, but it's really a professional plus social. It's really up to you how you use that and how you understand. I mean, I have seen sometimes I used a Facebook even, which is a pure social media platform. And I got connected with a very smarter brain on a planet. Maybe they are working on some crazy, you know, programmer or some compiler tool or something. So it's really up to you, but I will give you my thoughts, like how I feel LinkedIn, YouTube and GitHub, because these are three technical, uh, you know, powerful tool, I will, I would say, and how best you can use in order to get most out of your 
you know career success then definitely i would talk about some bonus and giveaway which will be followed by our question answer session i would suggest you to be open enough to talk about your problems and hurdles that you face even the rejections that you face the kind of frustrating experience you have because i am doing a massive research in this area and and i'm very focused on only embedded system i don't care about other what is happening in the data science or artificial intelligence i don't do that nonsense but as far as the embedded systems goes i really want to see i often talk to people i would also show you some of my training clients i have helped them and they got a job in 2 3 weeks right but it's not like they learn in 2 3 weeks it takes you know significant amount of time that you have to invest but you really succeed but when they share with me an experience i understand the problem and the content has been designed into that directions so that way you can solve the problem so i think i have put down the the outline for our next 40 minutes and we're going to talk one by one now as i said the first step in embedded systems to get start of if you're maybe at very graduate days or something then it's a right time there's no right time actually to say in life but yeah it's the best time to to get slowly put the thought into the direction so finding a mentor is very important i mean i can always say like what i am today is because the kind of people i met and i always say like maybe one of my friends in in germany stefan uh he was very passionate and curious even in our graduate days and when i when we had a friendship i always inspired looking at him like how focused he is then later i got one of my boss at my very first job and i was always inspired by how focused he is and how he see things how he enjoy being into embedded system so you really need to find a mentor mentor could be anybody okay just to help you support you advise you or guide you because i believe in my life everybody has a different pace of learning technologies all people we are different right we take a different time to to learn understand something so it's very important for you for all of us to have somebody who is a mentor i would rather also call it as a role model because if you really look at the long term as your career and success let's say 60 80 years of i would probably put it this way i want to die till making something or okay, okay building something so the best part of it is you need somebody role model you can follow because you have to be that much motivated and focus because you really need and help to exchange the knowledge and as i said you know there's mentor you can find it anywhere it could be in your university it could be on your workplace it could be your past supervisor you can still be connected with i told you i still talk to bert right i still talk to my friend mayank right it could be your trainer or coach or consultant like me say for example many people write me especially after releasing two three videos on a youtube focused on a career i started receiving lot of email and okay so there was a disturbance so i forgot actually what i was saying but yeah i started getting lot of emails to ask me help that is also a part of mentorship right unfortunately i couldn't spend my lot of time to address because people write straight away into the whatsapp or give me call straight away i can't afford my time like that right but as much as you get okay it's always great to have somebody a mentor or you know somebody who can motivate you as a role model make sure that the person has a diverse and good hands on experience and i would always say when you plan your career find out somebody who has who has an expertise into the area which you want to grow right and if that person has some real business or some 
freelancing experience or something then it's a great because you never plan your career just to get a job yes getting job is maybe your priority but i see future 10 15 years down the line you have to be skilled enough so no matter whether there are company exist or not you should always get a work or the project that you can work on and make the money so it's very important to get you know the person who has an expertise have a diverse and good hands-on experience and you can call that person as a, as a mentor and make sure learning is a journey especially in embedded system because there are a lot of things you will learn and the learning is a steep journey many people think that it's not a washing machine you take a clothes and put into the machine and press the button and then you know after 45 minutes you are done right it's really not like that it's a steep learning you can grow in terms of how you make money how much money you make and every single day you will feel more and more confident so take it as a learning journey uh, if you are looking for a quick things here then probably of course you can get a quick what it's called low hanging fruits you can get that but then again you know because of the shortcuts you again has to face some other kind of anxiety which maybe we will talk in the other webinar but i always recommend people not to make a shortcut rather go slowly step by step maybe make a little less in the beginning but as you spend more and more time you get uh, you get better so i got some questions and i would address these questions in the q a section so somebody asked the question what is the main thing need for embedded engineer we will speak about it i would use a special paint and i would show you you know the minimum skill sets you need to get start off and you really don't need to be a fancy embedded linux or autos or free autos or something like that you don't need that you need in a beginning very smaller thing but you have to be very good at that small things and that is enough to get you started we'll speak about it later now once you have the mentor it's very important that you have to invest rightly into your education because as i said embedded systems need a solid knowledge base it's it's not i seen some people take up embedded system jobs and then fill the excel sheets in india okay or maybe take up the embedded system jobs and do soldering all the day this is the nonsense thing because later 10 15 years down the line you will realize that you might have the title which is the developer but you're not a developer so don't do that stay very honest invest properly in your education then when i say invest i don't mean to go and do heavy courses right expensive courses or something i mean to say you have to buy good quality of embedded hardware okay uh, development kit evaluation kits maybe buy some good tools and see the good quality of embedded hardware and boards to learn evaluation boards they are not very expensive they are less than ten dollars okay sometimes maybe twenty dollars if they are high performance or something we'll speak later but it's just an investment of let's say ten twenty dollars and as far as the tools goes the software development tools usually they are free at least the demo version you can use it for learning right the second investment after having you know bought the hardware you probably want to go and buy some books or courses i'm not saying just buy courses because i sell the courses you cannot buy course that's fine but <clears throat> you really need some guidance right to make some project work need some advice and you know we all stuck in a different different places because something that is easy for me is not easy for you and what's easy for you is not for me so maybe that's where the courses or the coach or consultant make a sense but all what you need to do is maybe maybe i believe the real career advancement is 
even not a certificate of course certification but in the form of a reference later because right now if you look at the companies like google microsoft and ibm and all they view, they give you a certificates like a piece of cake right you go to linkedin you click the button you watch three hours of video and then give you certificate now i saw on linkedin a couple of days back some lady was claiming she has maybe 60 certification done during the lockdown and she is not able to get any job now the certificate doesn't make any kind of sense so my point is to buy the real hardware invest into that go and get some you know very cheaper courses right maybe you can go and join some consulting programs if that is cheaper enough or good enough the qualities also matter the person's quality the content quality and build some project now making a project again needs an investment you have to buy some hardware. maybe sometimes you go and buy logic analyzer small logic on analyzer you can get it with let's say like 50 60 dollars right now they are not very expensive but yeah the whole point is get a good reference later okay or work in collaborations to get a real experience because that matters nothing else matter and to show your experience online you don't need a certificates maybe the reference later will work because your future employer wants to know exactly what kind of technology you worked on but your work will be justified on github and other places where you can host your code and share it with the world and you know one thing i love in this world is we share the code freely right at least where you can take up somebody's codes which is sitting somewhere in us or in europe and maybe japan or somewhere and could able to collaborate online and uh, if you work on such online projects that still be considered as experience at least i call it as experience when i when i hire at least at uh, hytron that that's a company another company that i built with my co-founder apart from binaryupdates.com so um so gather as much as knowledge and experience that is important don't gather certificates okay they are all nonsense believe me i may be a little bit rude in into this area but it's a truth nobody care now certificates see another thing very important is uh define your goal as i said in the beginning find next right step for you because we all in our life at a different we are having a different journey because we have a different circumstances right and your goal will have to you know you always have to adjust your goal depending on the time that you have the money that you have the kind of circumstances you have i've seen some situations where for people job is more important okay um maybe you can call it as a survival job and i can even give you some of our suggestions you can get a survival jobs in embedded system rather than going and doing jobs which are non-tech okay but you have to really make sure that you want a survival jobs in the beginning because you don't have a right, right skill sets so that give you an oxygen to to grab that right skill sets okay so define your goal what what exactly you're looking for and it's very important when you define your goal you have to understand your core strength okay and the work that you wish to do because what happens is many people i seen when i talk to them when i coach them personally they have they have a very good communication skills or maybe they have maybe so i was just saying like some people has a very good development skills but they are hashing into some some management positions because they they just wish themselves to be leader or something right so don't do that if you have a good communication skill uh you know basically what all i mean is find your usp your unique selling propositions it could be anything you may be very good at programming you may be very good at communication you may be good at team building you may be good at technology sales see embedded systems it just doesn't mean you you just have one thing right it's the field where you have to see how best you can contribute 
and if you work on your gift okay what you are very very good at staying into embedded system itself you kind of achieve a success and what i mean success is getting you know high paid job because that's what i mean i mean it's not my definition but i see many people so define your goal adjust based on what you are interested in and what you are really good at okay as i said you know it could be anything to achieve your maybe financial goal or learning goal every year i put myself one is a financial goal and second is a learning goal so i keep both of them because in the end we all live in the same society and community so you also have to see what matters to you and how you approach now as i said earlier working with recruiters see growing in your career is really matter of finding new opportunities and right opportunities and i was talking couple of minutes before with vincent and like a lot of people even including myself i i am also pivoting my career right so in 2011 when i started my professional journey i got hired as a electronic development engineer into orbotech and my responsibilities was to do vhdl programming and do some electronics pcb design and all other things so get boards for the products in the r&d but later what happened after 2015 and 16 the entire electronics the classic classical electronics what i say because indian university still teaches that classical electronics so the classical electronics doesn't use more of a programming rather after 2014 and 15 we saw this internet of things came up and through internet of things and the software development product development we see a lot to do with the software development and electronics is more writing the firmware it is something called hardware related software development so we the point is we all pivot in our career and we always need to to approach the recruiters as i said it's a journey right it's not it's not one time process like i remember my father he got his first job and then he retired in the same job but that doesn't work that doesn't apply to our generation so working with recruiters is very important because many people says like why don't company doesn't uh, reply me when they go to career page and they write application some people also come and ask me umesh i do so many applications i never hear back it is because you have to understand the company has a lot of work to do i mean i run right now two shows and i barely have a time to see anything okay unless i unless i plan myself like this webinar i plan it for myself i know this is important to me i know i want to communicate to my audience so a recruiter can help you to connect with employer because they are the only one okay they have the deep understanding of what this organizations are looking for okay and because they know what companies are looking for maybe sometimes they are looking for internship maybe jobs or maybe expert job or mid career profession or something something whatever they are the only one they can help you okay they can help you to prepare rightly they if you build a good relation with them if you are just a person who copy paste the same message i get some messages very crazy weird and stupid like people says i did this things give me a job or i'm looking for job i mean there's no context what you have done whether i do something relevant to that or not the same thing happens with the recruiters so you have to initiate in a conversation that has a sense in it so they can feel okay they are talking to the right candidate they are not wasting their time rather they are investing a time now there are some nonsense recruiter as well i agree um, but not everybody is like that you have to understand 
and the one thing is you have to very actively work on your profile okay you i mean many people think okay they did some 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 training program maybe one or two project they built and put up there even i seen some profiles are very lazy they don't show the professional approach even just even if it's just to make your profile right make something uh, you know substantial and try to try to show your creativity it's not it is not something you know that you are beauty of your profile or will define you whether you really know the subject it just show how serious you are and if you're not serious then you know people would probably like to stay away from you because you will just a person who wasted time i would rather suggest focus on linkedin and youtube i say linkedin because that's where you see the recruiters you can also meet a project managers you can also uh, communicate directly to the startup founders okay like uh, right now i think samruddhi is already here i think she is attending the webinar she wrote me message email earlier for job and you know people will engage you if you approach them rightly correct so use a linkedin to approach to the recruiters founders maybe the project managers and somebody and use youtube also because you can share your projects maybe putting some videos out there maybe some pictures out there about what you are doing maybe you can also share use the github and share your code what you are working on now <clears throat> many people um, you know they say that to recommend them now how could one will recommend you when they themselves are not sure that you are really good at so let's say if you are my client okay maybe coaching client and i want i want you i want you to recommend it into some companies because maybe that company i have the connection with and if i'm not sure that you really know what you're talking about or what you're applying for i would not going to take a chance to recommend you right and nobody does it same applies to your friends and family okay and in a professional network this is a very serious problem because if you recommend one idiot then the other one will start thinking like you are not serious again like that other person so the the reason why you share all those things in the youtube and linkedin and other places like github and all that shows that you are focused and dedicated you stay committed and that is the place where you don't need to ask somebody to recommend people start recommending you without even asking so i now even even in fact nobody ask me to recommend i take their profile and talk in my community like startup community or somewhere i have a good person who has the skill sets and if you want you can maybe arrange an interview for him and if you find something interesting you can get him engaged right i think that is a right way this is called recommendation or recruiting not like to send one resume from person a to person b and to person c that's just a stupidity and the recruiter are the one because you would not know everybody but recruiter certainly know how many startups are there who are the startups owner what they are looking for when they have started what their product is right if there's no full time positions you can join as a you know paid internship or something so there's always way you can find out right but you need a recruiter for for this and there's no ex escape actually from this now the opportunities for iot uh, for embedded system because right now the hot selling potato is iot and i don't see much of a difference of embedded system and iot because iot internet of things is it would be like a basic computer in the future but the sad part is you cannot build any iot or modern day smart product or ai product uh without embedded firmware this is something nobody talks online i seen this you know go to some iot companies and see how much electronics they does and you see 80% work is 
this electronics because all the sensor data all the gateways and nodes and all other things these are embedded processors they are either the controller like non operating system devices or they are a uh, processors which are the operating system devices like in gateways and all but in the end you have to understand the reality is it is all about embedded systems okay now <clears throat> it's it's very difficult to uh, to go against the 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 opinion of the people but i always say embedded is very secure and if you know embedded systems you could probably jump into anything you can jump into artificial intelligence iot machine learning or anything but without embedded system seriously you will struggle i have been doing this products since long time i've been training many people online and offline and i'm seeing the real problem which probably the elite institute would not speak because that would create a problem for them to sell that their expensive courses but i don't care that and the reason you know because if you look at the structure of the product right now if you take any you know modern product in a first place you have the chip embedded chip right on and on the product side you have the application a piece of software that allow you to talk to the hardware in this process of building a product smart product your server means your cloud network and the application software most of these things are either they are saas so software as a service or platform as a service so there's very little you can do coding programming so real skill sets are very little all what you end up is maybe a job like filling up this the the excel sheet or maybe doing some 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 donkey kind of hard work and or maybe a drag and drop sort of things a very little coding very little logical things and these are the jobs in future you know people will see slowly getting replaced an embedded system is very difficult or it's would never going to replace because the problem here is for every product we will speak about it some day the different uh, business verticals where embedded engineers will add the value okay maybe some dedicated webinar for it but here the point is because it's not a saas or pass product like uh, google cloud platform or amazon cloud platform or the azure or something these companies are making things easy and the way you make things easy is to automate the process and in embedded certainly there is very little so this area of embedded systems is much more secure than this area here you know average career span is i think 3 to 4 years and then you have a massive pressure every 3 to 4 years to upgrade your skill sets maybe learn about docker and devops and i think there are a lot of people they they are right now into the webinar okay i think this is this is a webinar filled with so many people and i'm very happy today but some of them are my existing clients coaching clients and then they know me very well what i stands for what kind of product i have built in my life right and what kind of exposure i have got and honestly i tell you 3 to 4 years if you work on the stack whether it's a cloud service or application software these are the people have a constant hammer because they have to the pressure on upgrading skill is very high for this category and i don't recommend this a typical software development job okay don't do that it's i mean you can do that i don't care but i don't recommend my personal coaching clients i never recommend this i believe in sustainable career look at the career i built for myself okay i have a several revenue stream i choose the company right now okay it's not that i am great I invested a lot of years of my life in order to grab the skill sets uh all the programming and non programming skill set it take a time but when it, it takes a time if it's not a quick short game then you will end up getting very sustainable career and that that's what I recommend I will show you the real life results you know a little bit later so that's my recommendation that's why I 
you know ask people and don't fall under buying this nonsense ml ai data science and all other things see these only make a sense when you know what is happening on the lower level right on the hardware level on the census many people i attend some meetings where they talk about a data and this idiot doesn't know whether the data is structured data unstructured data how they're going to use the data and what is what they end up is not being able to build sustainable product here and then they suffer the company hire people to do ml ai task and then they fire them because then later they say we don't see the business value in it so this is dangerous game right and i don't think anybody of you really want to play with your career uh knowledge of embedded i already said it's very important and the one thing is because you if you have not built in a projects if you don't have the real advices you end up you know collecting a lot of certifications and you can eat a burger and pizza on that certificates they are useless because you feel unproductive low confidence if you don't have built the real projects and solve the real problem so don't do that the opportunities are enormous look at around you right now there may be at least a 10 products around you which has a chip in it and sensor in it okay and in a future you will see more and more maybe some other day we're gonna speak because we are we we have very limited time right now so i again would not waste my time to talk about testimonials uh, a lot of there maybe you can read about me on udemy reviews you can read on a google reviews and all and you see these are not always uh, you know the fresh graduates or something i literally worked with very difficult difficult clients i have worked with the people who have 15 years of experience which has a very difficult time frame a lot of emis and all they lose the job then they have to quickly prepare themselves and get the job very difficult situations the graduate people have the problem right it's been two years i'm not getting job i have the pressure but that's a different thing and here it's a different thing right i worked with so, so what my point is i have diverse experience so what i'm talking is out of those experiences i seen you know thousands of people with different phases of their life i have seen them facing the failures rejections i've seen them succeeding right many of them are very happy they write me on a whatsapp too if you need any help of course binary updates is there it's not like i always sell uh, these courses are not very expensive if you put like 40 dollars you can buy all of them <laughs> and honestly if you get any of the scores that is listed in binaryupdates.com slash courses uh, we put enormous amount of time on creating very high value content okay this content the video you will never ever see the low quality video okay and i stand for all my content and all my commitments what do you expect if you need any further help maybe you can buy some courses from us or there are different different offerings based on what you pay for it but yeah we have a proven framework i always try and put two live projects to get experience because you can only get experience if you work on a real live projects certificates actually i don't recommend this nonsense certificates i recommend the reference later because reference later speak exactly with whom you worked on so let's say if you worked with umesh or with the binary updates projects i will write a custom and personalized reference later for you and since i trained you i gave you project i know what you are very good at and what you are not so it's a genuineness that you build and binary updates we really want to build as a brand not just any you know tom dick harry coaching consulting program and the most important thing is live online support that we provide for our clients because this is very important okay like if you buy the product which cost i think 5000 rupees which probably like 70 80 dollars not more than that you get the live consulting support and the support is provided for addressing a particular problem i don't want you to spend every day with me 2 hours whatever easy you can do it by watching video do it and wherever you need my help 
online there i can come and help you fix you quickly 10 15 minutes this speed up the process learning process right it doesn't waste anybody's time and we solve the problem we address the problem i believe in my life you can only grow if you address the problems right if you just follow the process then maybe because we also have to do a lot of research before we may we make a course right so we also have to do a lot of coding inside and think about it how this is gonna help so maybe interfacing iprom or maybe the rtc chip or something and write the code from scratch in order to make sure that you get exactly what will be beneficial for you right so that way and you know let me know how best i can help you even you can approach to me by writing umesh at binaryupdates.com you would definitely hear from me even if you don't buy my courses right the point is i always prioritize because i really have to see whether how much time i have okay because i work with very difficult situation and circumstances i work with really complex clients i can show you if you want I would not waste my time to show you, uh, you know, the recommendations or something. But let's open up my WhatsApp. And uh, one of a client that I worked with, he came to me a few weeks back. And uh, um, he was really having a difficult time in his life. His name was Mahesh uh, Tambade. And uh, one of the participants in this webinar mr abhishek sharma okay he recommended mahesh to talk to umesh if abhishek can speak to me right now yeah abhishek i don't know whether in australia because you are in australia i don't know the time zone but yep. yeah abhishek recommended mahesh on linkedin to talk to me right or and abhishek knows how he was struggling right mahesh wrote yeah. you several times and read this yeah. message uh, abhishek you will be very happy good morning sir yeah. i selected an integrated active monitoring systems private limited right today i'm going to join you will not get this love emoji unless you know the girlfriend or real love right yeah but because of the problem that he was facing he came to my home i invited him okay i really didn't have the time last week and he successfully got a job and you can see i don't have a time i don't want any online testimonial for me i don't believe in this nonsense because i solved the problem but yeah. you know this is all what i'm saying is out of all my experience and of course if you want a results you can get back to me okay i i, I don't want to sounds like very salesy kind of thing because i put out this webinar just to help you the best i can right to make your life easy nothing more than that you know this time that i put in in a webinar i don't think really it just does justify my time but the last webinar happened in october that was again very few people able to join because it was uh, within two hours it was filled with all the seats right because i always take only 50 people <laughs> i use a free software that's why sorry i don't have a huge money for uh, as long as i get very credible clients with me okay so that's how it is and uh, you can now ask me question and i already have uh, several question so i take one by one all right because we are already running out of time so uh, let's take the first question which Venkateshwar asked me. Hello, sir. Uh, he passed out in 2019. He did a PG, di PG diploma in embedded systems having two years gap. Will it impact? I already said, you know, gap and all nonsense doesn't matter. Okay. I love the time which we are growing up. It's a high tech and people are open enough if you go to somebody like if you approach to me i also had a time when i was struggling there were you know the year that nothing happened in my life right even though i was working day and night in a products and project and 
as an entrepreneur so everybody understand it's okay it just doesn't matter just get the right skill sets approach right people in a right way if you feel a difficulties if you feel some confusion in it you can reach out to me personally and we will look out for uh, possible mistakes if you are making i'm not sure because you did the pg diploma i don't know how much effort you are putting some people just send emails every day five application and say okay i'm working very hard oh my god this is not and this is not a real hard work sending emails can be done by any you know high school students right now like my niece was just a eight nine years old could able to write emails right now so it's not a rocket science right your approach is important now let's go to the next question <clears throat> which uh, mr vyankata saitej has asked okay what is the main thing need for embedded engineer very interesting question right what is the main thing i don't know how i understand this question but let me open up my paint which i only open for the premium clients and see always i categorize this entry level professional like embedded professional okay i'm not talking about any other profession i don't care for them an expert um, professional when i say entry level that means you could probably have no experience like zero to let's say zero to one year or two year experience i believe so okay or maybe no experience just the high school graduates okay so when you are looking for entry level professional you know job then you must know c and c++ i always shout like a crazy animal these two things c++ it's not required actually in the beginning but i speak this in order to make the psychology behind it so you know like one day you have to go into that directions but c is a must must you can't just succeed in embedded without c and i see you know, people they succeed with only c but you have to be very good at c many people just like for loop while loop and then say i know c that's not a way right unless you work on a project do two or three tasks and exercises you will not understand what i am trying to say even if i shout like two hours but c and c++ is extremely important then i say the person know one eight bit microcontroller okay at least one eight bit microcontroller in and out you should know all the protocols like uart i2c spi how to use a timer interrupt and all my courses my course on the embedded systems and microcontroller master class cover this this is very comprehensive course where i start with blinking led and take you all the way through building two projects on uh you know two premium protocols used in industry like i2c and spi and if you know the basics of 32-bit microcontroller programming that is enough to get you started in the beginning okay so don't need a fancy rtos or embedded linux or falana dimkana these all things are just a jargon right when you approach for the entry level job the person just want to make sure you you have the basics right they don't expect you to be expert of something okay and for entry level job it's also good to know at least one pcb design tool okay this will save you to get fired because if in case you find you are not adding the value because maybe it's taking a time for you to grab the programming and it happens sometimes okay you can still contribute in a company by doing some low hanging stuff okay and that will give you oxygen to survive right getting job is not a final steps my friend sustaining into job getting growth into job these are also very important key point which nobody talks especially for this people entry level professionals right and the time when they realize that they picked up the wrong things it will be too late for them in the career so but anyways these are all <clears throat> very different uh, the discussion is going in a different direction and of course i always say like basics of programming the basics of electronics needs to be there basics of electronics and programming right this is all what you need no fancy stuff just to get the entry level job and even in an entry level job 
people pay you good salary wherever you go on the planet for embedded engineer i don't know about other engineers but for embedded everybody pay you good if the company is a product company okay because you built a real product it's not a service it's it's a product that you built now when it's an expert professional i'm writing this because many people confuse like some guy here in the chat box asked me like oh my god so many questions came up here but somebody say like some linux or something sir how much linux plays important role in embedded system see linux like many of the product especially the healthcare and other consumer products they do have the embedded linux in it but embedded linux you just need a knowledge uh, if you have that's that's a great thing knowledge means if it's not a hands-on knowledge is, is one thing you know something about it but every product built with the microcontroller and processor so of course linux is, is very important in it but not for entry level it's for you know once you go the climb up somewhere like two years to four years or eight years 10 years experience or whatever you know then it makes a sense for you to think about it. not in a beginning but yeah linux is very important embedded linux especially the products where you have a touch screen which driven through embedded linux so it's important uh, but many people i seen they do stupidity they go and learn embedded linux and this idiots doesn't even know how to trigger interrupt the same idiots doesn't know how the timer works and then they do a lot of certifications and again they don't get a job and there's no point to hire these people right if you don't know the basics you know so don't mix these things if you everything is important in life embedded linux is important autos is important but at what phase you are in your career what you are looking for that matters okay so the next question is coming from harish he says what if i have done learning arduino and completed few project which microcontroller should i need to learn next see arduino and the raspberry pi you can learn them as a hobby okay because when you write a professional embedded software you probably need to write the code in a bare c embedded c because embedded system is all about a memory because memory is an expensive thing into the chip maybe we'll speak about it someday i really don't have a time for it but uh you know i would recommend 80 mega 328 microcontroller which is sitting on arduino but you have to program into embedded c okay not in the arduino c programming language that's what i recommend harish to you and one of my course which i say like microcontroller and embedded system that is focused on that so you need not have to buy expensive or new hardware and also the programming is very easy because and that can be happening over uh, professional tools like an atmel studio instead of arduino ide which is which is really not a professional arduino and raspberry pi makes more sense for the people who focus more on iot rather than in embedded systems but in embedded systems and product focus i would suggest you to pick up you know 8-bit microcontroller avr 80 mega 328 microcontroller that's what my course is around and when i made this course i thought a lot for every course i produce i spend almost an year of my research because if you create a course which takes let's say one or two years to shoot and edit and everything and then you realize that this chip will go obsolete or maybe some tools will be discontinued by a company it would be the nonsense right so the risk is very high at my side so this is my true suggestions for you uh mohit is writing me thank you sir for your kind words i direct to problem i wasted 2.5 years on government exams 
but still i didn't get any job now i decided to leave my home and start career in embedded system i need your guidance yeah you can talk to me mohit straight away uh, you will get my number we will talk personally what's your problems are and how you can plan it yourself right so the answer is long and i would not probably want to discuss here uh Srinivasan is asking where to get the project ideas website name please yeah so i would rather oh, i forgot to write this expert you can consider here embedded linux if you if you're noting down these things then maybe just trying to help you best i can and here real-time operating system on microcontroller maybe also you need a very good debugging export level debugging so instead of more than programming debugging is very important so expert professionals experienced professional expect to be very good at debugging. okay so i would not waste my time here okay and just jump into the websites communities i recommend for projects okay the first very popular i love the most it's from us i guess hackster.io or something like that second second i will recommend hackaday hackaday or something i don't remember exactly then you can check out adafruit adafruit sell the hardware in united states but they also have a very good quality blogs where they share the projects then you can also consider spark fun that is another company they sell the hardware their hardware are usually very expensive for indians clients indians people but i don't know whether you're really interested it's not my business and uh, also you can check out one chinese <laughs> uh, sit studio I don't know whether you find interesting i haven't checked it since long time they were talking to me as a influencer to make video for them again i didn't have the time but you can check out this websites and you can also read as much as on aquara forums and other things you can also check out my uh you know video channels like you can see like on a youtube i put out this zigbee wireless project here right so like this project i share where you get an idea and work on yourself to get it work right so i try my best to cover as much as but again i am a human and i also have only 24 hours in a day so i think this is this is more than enough for for you i hope this answered the question srini was for you uh pradun is asking please tell some company's name where we can apply for internship and training that's not my job my friend pradun it's you to go to recruiter that's what i said earlier right i would probably tell you or when i know you better right now i don't know what you are i don't know what you are good at right so but you can check out online you have a plenty of companies and maybe you can talk to me later or write on email and introduce your profile so harish says yes sir thank you thank you harish being a part of this webinar vibin is asking i am from kerala small town what are the things to be taken care of starting a small scale embedded startup which will provide a support and make a product to small scale uh, yeah so vipin I would suggest you to start uh, with the PCB design because that's the easiest one and uh, hash out the clients maybe the bigger companies and factories around you make small circuit boards for them you maybe give me a call we will speak details the way I started my first company it was like that only because when I came from Germany I didn't have the connections in India right so I had to start from scratch and I literally started with nothing okay so maybe i would share my experience the question is pretty more much much you know comprehensive i cannot answer but if you are serious enough what you have asked just copy the same text and put it into the mailbox write to mail umesh at binaryupdates.com okay and i would be 
very happy to help you of course you need a skills to serve the companies but you can small you can slowly pick up as you are into the small villages or towns where you know the bigger company usually doesn't pitch their services because uh, it's very difficult to provide after you know solution or service support so you it will work in your favor uh, we will speak in person later on this uh, now the question is coming another one a lot of questions by the way Srinivasan what is importance of embedded system in electric vehicle what kind of work is there in embedded ah see uh, electric vehicle is one of a product like every other product as I said you know biomedical like the medical devices military hardware like electric vehicle without embedded system <laughs> Srinivasan you can't build any product and electric vehicle 80 percent it's an electronics it's a sensor there is a CAN protocol LIN protocol AutoSAR the discussion will never finish <laughs> okay a lot of things are there maybe we can speak later someday Srinivasan is is already my client he already bought some courses maybe Srinivasan give me call some some free day we will speak about it but it's it's really big every every part of okay every part of the product electric vehicle as long as it's electricity it's electric it's like a blood in the body right so like a current in the socket like human body the blood so wherever there is a current there is like electronics and you need embedded system or processor to control that current and voltage that's all what it is okay okay so okay i get thank you thank you very much a lot of responses here uh now here gotham is asking freelancing in embedded software and iot gotham really i'm running out of time i have another meetings online uh lined up but i would make a special webinar and this webinar will be earn a living as an embedded engineer so this webinar would not be about only way of taking up a job and make money okay because I see in embedded system there is a massive opportunities where you can freelance or you can make a small business startups or something and you can still be able to 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 make a money because job is more of a commitment for the brands so many times it's easy to get this kind of work instead of jobs and in embedded systems so I would make a special webinar for it and I hope you will stay subscribed to my mailing list and uh, maybe we will talk in that dedicated webinar this webinar is is only dedicated for jobs right i hope you understand and my problem is a different thing uh krati is asking scope of a master's in embedded system abroad krati master degree in abroad can only help you to to make a better connections or to learn a new culture or to learn meet new people which inspires you I went to Germany for my master's degree and uh, what one thing that I learned is the way I see the world has changed okay so that is the one thing but it has nothing to do with embedded systems it doesn't make any difference you do embedded systems in India or you do it in abroad I would suggest you to to finish your bachelor's take a good courses make a projects get a job first in India work for one to two years in India and then go for master's degree in abroad okay because I know people want to go abroad in India to settle there or maybe stay there for long term you see it is very complex I was the exceptional in my whole batch who returned back to India to do something but I tell you if you have the similar goal or desires before you go to foreign lands make sure you have the skill sets otherwise you will again suffer okay so there is no compromise in the skills see master's degree or PhD doesn't help you to be employable nobody talks about it I would make a dedicated video for this Krati 
if you have these things like you do masters and phd and then you will be special no you are wrong it doesn't define anything uh Venkata is saying, okay, thank you very much. Yeah, I appreciate all of you for your time. Uh, I always say like, if you have anything specialized, you, you know, always come back to me, talk to me, write me, email. Um, I am very happy to, uh, to, to talk to you or exchange emails to you. I hope this answered all the questions you have and uh, it's a time to to say goodbye to you um, if you think that my courses or my services a training program could somehow could help you then maybe you can check out some of the courses they are not very expensive by the way but you can consider buying one of them if you want okay they are very thoughtfully designed and address what you get out of buying this course is you get access to me because I really have very limited time with whom I consult. Otherwise, then people have to wait till I write a reply. So that's all for today. Thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. And I will be looking forward to, to see you, talk to you in future. Thank you. Bye-bye for now.